Okay, good afternoon, Property Finder. So I'm sat here with Melanie, who is one of our senior leasing consultants here at Espace Real Estate. She is our nomination for Outstanding Agent. Um, I believe it's moved from Outstanding Agent of the Month to Outstanding Agent of the Quarter. Um, Melanie has been with the company for, I believe you just celebrated your three year anniversary, actually. I'm going my fourth now. Fourth yeah. year, apologies, fourth year. Um, so fourth anniversary at the company. Mel has been a consistent top performer with the business and August has um, been one of the best months that you've ever had, if not the best yeah. month you've ever had. Um, lots of different reasons for that. A phenomenal amount of work that went in. Lots of great things came together. Lots of deals that you've been working on for a long period of time, really showing how um, consistent Mel is and how hard she works with her clients as well. Um, in August, Melanie closed 10 deals. Mm -hmm. Um, not only did she close 10 deals, she broke her personal record. She pretty much equaled the company record, um, the, the highest amount of revenue that a broker has ever seen um, in Espace Real Estate. Out of those 10 deals, they were also all pretty big deals as well, right? They weren't you know, small little studios and two bedroom townhouses. Um, the average rental value annual contract came to 330,000 dirhams. Uh, per annum over the 10 deals, so totaling just over 3.3 million dirhams in um, uh, gross annual contract value, uh, which is a, a huge amount of money. Um, and I think the volume of business that you've done this month, I would say that most agents in sales or rentals would be extremely happy to hit that. I know that from my experience, so I think it's an incredible amount of, of money to put on the board. Um, so well done from me and from the company. Thank you. Um, in addition to that, something very special that happened, we had the first seven figure rental contract ever signed at Espace Real Estate. The highest rental that we've ever done, the first seven figure, I think if you're blind if you haven't seen this because it's on the screen, it's been round everywhere, but an absolutely phenomenal achievement, a deal that has taken what? Seven months, a polo home in Arabian ranches for a million dirhams, absolutely incredible. So a big round of applause for Mel, well done. Um, which was from Melanie again. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about that property and what the deal was there? Um, yeah, so I have been working on this property for over a year. Um, we got it listed last year, July. Um, and uh, my client viewed it back in February. Yep. It was listed at 1.2 million yep. um, in Polo Homes. Yep. And um, we viewed it back in February and she loved it. She had initially put in an offer, but it was a lot lower than what they wanted. Okay. Um, so I just kept in touch with her over the months. Um, when the tenants moved out in July, I went back to the villa. I took a video for her because she was stuck in the UK. Yep. Sent it back to her and I told her the villa is now vacant and yep. available um, if you're still interested. And she was like, yes. And then she offered what the owners would close at. Amazing. Got that signed. There you go. So the great thing I love about this month, I think every deal that you've done has been in Arabian ranches as well. Uh, there was one in Damak Hills, but one in Damak Hills. All okay. the others in ranches. So Melanie has been a, an Arabian ranch specialist for a long time, and I think for me personally, being a specialist in a community is is very very important. Clients are really looking for people that know the communities inside out, the properties, the landlords, and really have that that depth of knowledge which Melanie certainly has. Um, so to be able to close a deal of that size, um, of course, there can be a little bit of luck, but I believe strongly in this case that, you know, the deal that's been put together has been with the relationships that Melanie's built um, with the clients, not only with the landlords, with the tenants, and I guess being tenacious and, and sticking with it as well, right? A lot of people drop the clients, especially in the leasing market very quickly when, um, when uh, deals aren't, aren't going their way. As a business and as, as, as an individual broker, we've gone through some of the, the busiest months that we've ever seen, which yeah. means everyone's overloaded. It means it's a little bit easier to leave a client that's maybe um, not looking to do something straight away. And I think that's typically, I think most people watching this now will agree that, you know, that's typically what happens if you're not looking to move in a very short period of time that you can often get left on the sidelines. Um, so amazing work from Melanie there. I absolutely believe um, that she should be the outstanding agent for this period, I think for Q3. Um, what's the biggest challenge that you faced in August? Very busy, lots of deals, yeah. big deals. Uh, my biggest challenge was 
managing my time between the new clients that I had in August and the deals that I had closed back in June, July, their handovers were all in August. Yeah, yeah. So my biggest challenge was just the time management of arranging viewings for the new clients, then negotiating the deals, then doing the handovers. And everybody knows handovers in Dubai yeah. rarely go smoothly. So just having to follow up on the maintenance issues that yeah. were still there, tenants not being happy, landlords yeah. not being happy. Yeah. And then just trying to manage all of that while yeah. not losing my biggest clients. Yeah, absolutely. So that and that's a huge challenge and certainly from, from Property Finder, you guys will see the amount of leads that we've been generating, certainly through your portal. Um, it's been a lot for everyone to balance. There's been a lot of um, additional concerns with everything going on. It means we have to be me more reassuring with our clients. There's um, a lot of turbulence. What do you do different? What do you think you do different with your clients to somebody that's, that's um, even people in our office? What do you believe you do different with your experience? Um. I just know from the feedback that I get from my clients is that I'm always available 24 seven, yeah. especially on WhatsApp. They can message me at 10 PM and I'm like, there's a 99% chance that I will reply yeah. to them immediately. Yeah. Um, I'm very direct and honest, which sometimes backfires, but the majority of them, they appreciate that. Yeah. They don't like it when agents play games or, yeah. you know, lie to them just to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, an advantage in their court but um yeah i guess that's direct and what honest. i do just yeah be honest and they appreciate that and Good. Just always being available answering all their questions immediately i don't ignore them for one or two days especially after i get the commission like that is the time where i put even more effort into yep. it so that they're happy when they move into the house yeah, absolutely. Well, look, I can say that Melanie always gets fantastic reviews from her clients, does a great job. I'm very proud of the work that you've put in. I'm super happy that you've had um, a record breaking month and that you've, uh, that you've really achieved great things this year so far. So well done, Property Finder. I hope that you um, see everything that I see with Melanie and that you um, give the recognition as outstanding agent. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you.